Figured, but. All right, Cyclocross Magazine here with Jen Malik, the winner of our collegiate club race yes. here today. Uh, you started fast and just kept going. Was that the plan heading in here today? Yeah, so I knew for the ditch I wanted to be the first one into it so I could jump it. I wasn't sure how many people would actually be attempting it. So I was like, if I can at least do it for two laps and blast the sand, mm -hmm. then kind of tempo ride, everyone else will maybe have to catch and I'll reevaluate from there. But it worked. So you hopped the ditch the first yeah, lap? Yeah, um, the first three and on the third one I actually flatted and then I was like, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So. so were you able to ride on it? And yeah, it was a that? rear flat, so I was just getting a little loose. <laughs> okay. Well, that makes it more fun, right? It's right? like it was yeah. muddy yesterday, but it's starting exactly. to dry up it's, a little bit. I mean, I just wanted mud, so <laughs> better flat, next best option. <laughs> Um, so you're racing on Sunday, uh, yeah. the big one. Do you think that having this practice is good or with the changing conditions? What are your thoughts on... Um, I think I mean, I mean, think it's good. One, it's an opener. It gives me an idea of kind of parts of the course I need to work on, how I feel in other sections, because even though you can do a hot lap for pre-ride, you can't actually simulate the sheer pain of racing. Yeah. So I think that'll help me kind of know what to expect on the course. Um, and then I'm excited to like pre-ride the UCI sections as well once they open up. So any thoughts on the course for your fellow elite women competitors? Not secrets, but thoughts on the course and what to expect? Um, I mean, I love the course. It's definitely deceptively hard. Um, I, at first, when I was pre-riding, I was like, oh, this isn't bad. But up until the technical section, it's a majority of a false flat. I don't know if we'll have the headwind again, but I definitely at one point looked down. because I was like, am I even moving? And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, how was that section? Uh, more and more we're hearing that that is a really hard section to even walk in as a yeah. spectator. What's, <laughs> right. what's it like and how did you push yourself through that? I kind of just treated it like a time trial and I was like, okay, I'm going to get to that course crossing. I was like, okay, I'm going to get to the ditch. And then once I got through that part, I was like, just pedal through the sand and you have that nice downhill that you can pedal, but still at least recover a little bit. And, you know, then just count on doing it again. Yeah. So what, uh, what does the rest of your week, week look like? If you're racing today, how are you going to approach uh, hanging out here in Reno the rest of the week? So we're actually going to go drive down to Lake Tahoe and I'll probably chill, do some spinning, and then I need to do some grad school work before my advisor kills me um, but it's all online so that'll be good I can just remote connect in. And what are you doing in the grad schools? I'm in biomedical engineering so I my thesis is on how to improve ear infection treatments for young children. Really? Mm -hmm. That sounds really cool. Yeah I enjoy it. Uh, and how do you balance uh, doing grad school as well as being a top level elite cyclocross racer? Um, I definitely got very, very lucky for so with my advisor who understands and is into cycling. So when I'm like, hey, I'm not going to be here Thursday through Monday. <laughs> He's like, okay, but I remote connect in a lot of the time to our lab computers. And it's a lot of late nights or I take advantage of my recovery days, cranking out a bunch of work. So that way on race weekends and hard workouts, I can just focus on that instead of being stressed at school. Cool. Maybe you can trade uh, secrets with Sunny Gilbert. I know she's right. a PhD. Yeah. And... I wanted to talk to her about that, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that she'd be good. And then finally, one last question. The Ohio State University. Do you get a Buckeye on your helmet every time you win a race? I don't see any on there. Is that a thing? No. Unfortunately, the university kind of, you yeah, have football and then cycling clubs a little like, meh. We have to, like, fight to get our form stamped every year so I can actually compete. But I know everyone in the club's super excited, and they are all texting me this morning, good luck. So maybe we can make some stickers. I was going to say, you've earned one heck of a Buckeye yeah. for your helmet. So Thank congratulations. You. Thank you.